Hmm. What's on your mind, Asbel? I got this good luck charm from Hubert, and I'm trying to figure out what he meant by it. Maybe it's just his own way of worrying. How so? I'm sure he remembers heading to Strata seven years ago, alone and scared. He probably can't help but think of you making the same trip. Even after all that time. Sharia, we have to save him. Yes, we will. But he's not captured. Hello, my friends. As, uh... We are now going to go to Strata. He's a hope. Wait a minute. Before I do that. Uh, no. We want to be with Quest. Mm. Okay, then. Onward. To somewhere. Okay, now. I'm trying to think which way I'm doing to go. I'm pretty sure Asbel will tell me if I'm going the wrong way. He always does. Ooh, what's this? Star. What's wrong, Sophie? This is a flower bed, just like the one at Asbel's house. Yes, but it hasn't been used in a long time. I see. Why don't you use it, Sophie? Hmm. That's a great idea. You can plant seeds here. Just like you do with the Sylvarius. Is it really okay? Of course. Do whatever you like with it. Alright. I'll give it a try. You know what? You used to plant flower seeds from all around the world. All around the world? Yes. That would be a lot more fun to just plant local flowers, wouldn't it? Hmm. She has a point, Sophie. Okay. I'll do that. We find a new seed. You can plant it here. For the longest, I love this garden ever. I'll do my best. Yay! <laughs> More star power. <laughs> Especially these night lily seeds. I should do it, right? This is gonna be a flower planting episode. <laughs> Let's put these granola seeds. <laughs> Here, these used to make oil. More flowers. Oh, so we got a seed. Don't put, don't put star there, damn you. Alright. Oh. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Wait. Remember the Richard saying there's a letter in his request. But he would probably not want to have the request taken care of now. Near the tree. If I remember correctly, it was near the tree. Let's see if we can find the, uh, the letter. Avoiding all these, these enemies. Hey, look, a letter. I wonder who wrote it. Huh? It's addressed to me. It's from someone in Lond. It doesn't say who it's from. Are you going to read it? I don't know if I should. 
It's just to you, yeah. So then what's the big deal? All right, let's see what it says. Dear Asbel, how long have been since we last saw each other? When I hear your dear voice at the Night Academy, I'm struck by a desire to see you. He's not even stuck down to to pay you a visit. Fortunately, you're already gone when I arrived. I asked after you. I was told you wouldn't be returning for, for some time. Then you better return home. I immediately made for Launt. But you weren't there to be found either. As long as you were thrown out by then. So I decided this best course of action was to write you this letter. Regular I posted, of course, at the manor. You would like his man to find it. Hope I'm right. He's a little bit messy as ever. This may be the last that I'm able to send. I very much would like to see you again. But now your life is busy. I don't want to trouble you. Take care. No, 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 I treasure our friendship above all else. Even though I attacked you last time. Look at the date. It's more than a year old. Sorry the writer was in quarter fix. Do you think it was written by... There's only one person who would like to hide a letter here. He must be seeking my help. Asbel? Let's come here again. The three of us. Yeah, if we stand under this tree, we will become a another friendship pact. That's not it, Asbel. Richard wasn't was seeking your help. He just wanted to see you again. He didn't put life in danger by leaving the castle. You okay, Sharia? Yes, I'm fine. No, because I was the same way. Now ah, that, that we, we've uh, done that and gotten all uh, cringy and stuff, let's let, let's fight some enemies to make us feel ourselves better. <laughs> Not bad, don't you think? I feel better now. <laughs> okay, so now that I've made the went the wrong way, but first, I must return to Launt and turn in this letter to get those skill points. Twenty four hundred skill points. Of course, I'm gonna turn that that daggum thing in. If I do it, I need to make myself even stronger. But I need to. Okay, let's look what we got here for titles. Uh, no, we're not going to use that one for you. Um, we could do that one. We could. Or this one. I'm torn what I should be doing. We'll do that one for Asbel. Sophie. So he's gonna get that one. And Captain Malik. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And Sherry, uh... Hey, 
And old Pascal. Yippee. Let's see what we can give you here. Okie dokie. No, we want to turn in requests. Yay! <laughs> Woo, that got everybody up. I just believe it almost mashed that. <laughs> the dad gum one. <laughs> Alright. Go back to that one. Uh, Sophie, where are you? Go back to this one. Captain Mount. You know what? I think we'll stick with that one because he's almost he's almost up there with that one. No, you know what? No. I'll go back to this one. We'll give you that one later. Uh, you, Sherry, uh... Let's stick with that one because you'll get maximum XP boost. Okie dokie. And I'll be wasting time doing that. Over 12 minutes. Let's... <laughs> Sorry. It's been one of them episodes. Starting up with G with that one. Uh, is it this... No. Okay then, thank you. It's gonna be, it's gonna be this way then. Lunch Road. Onward. Big Blue Bear. This will be a breeze. I think that's all of them. Sure, we're, we're gonna get there. Do I say that like every single episode? I think I actually do at this point. Asbel, can I see what Hubert gave you? To get a charm from your little bro. That's funny. When Asbel first entered the academy, he talked about his brother all the time. Captain, come on. We don't need to bring all that up now. I want to hear it. Me too. Asbel's brother had been sent to Strata, and he worried about him constantly. Was he lonely? Was he being bullied? His brother was a quiet sort, and Asbel worried others would mistake that for weakness. You even sent him a letter, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but I never got a reply. I'm sure he knew you were thinking of him. I hope so. Here's the charm back. It's a special gift from Hubert. I'm sure it will protect you. Thanks, brother. 
Okay. We're almost to the port. Let's hurry. Ah, it must be good to be our brother. Well, I am one, but... So, guys, what's Strata like? I heard it was covered in sand, but... Asbel, what are you doing? N nothing You seem awfully nervous. Ooh, someone's freaking out about meeting the new family. Uh, no, it's not like that. I just... I don't want to say anything rude. <laughs> C Captain... I thought we were told not to go meet them by Hubert. We're gonna break, oh, we're gonna break uh, our promise to him. I'm up for it. Let's do it. <laughs> Put it back. Hello, Mr. Bear. I must kill you now. Your sword skills are amazing. Thanks. I'll use them to protect us all. That was so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A seashell. It's pretty. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I don't anticipate a challenge. Not bad, don't you think? Strahton's soldiers are guarding the port. We can take that boat to Strata. It's who are you people? They're causing you trouble now. I arrest a lot of you. Asshole. It'll be a while before we reach Strata. We probably ought to eat something to tide us over. Good idea. I bet the cafeteria on board will be expensive. Sure, yeah. You should eat something too, Sophie. Because if you decide you're hungry later, it'll be too late once we're on board. Okay, I understand. You too, Pascal. Yeah, whatevs. I'm not hungry. That doesn't matter. Eat something. They aren't even selling anything good around here. What's wrong with grilled chicken? Well, you know, I'm not into the greasy stuff. You like grilled chicken, Sharia? Of course. It's like they say, real women eat chicken. Only you say that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was good. All right. We're the prop Sharia of her grilled chicken. And we're going to go, <laughs> go ahead and go to try. I'm such a mean person. You know what? I'm gonna name that the episode. Real women eat chicken. <laughs> Just cause I can. <sighs> be so good. Just for that one skit. That one skit made my day. So that makes the question. What do real men eat? Steak. Meat and potatoes. Oh, Sharia, I picked this up earlier. It's some chicken. Oh, I thought I lost this. Thank you. Is it the same Sophia I gave you? Huh? Um, well, yeah, it is. Is that okay? The times we spent together are some of my favorite memories. And after everyone left and I was alone, I used those memories to keep going. Just kiss already! I honestly never thought we'd be together again. I mean all of us. Sophie too. Not just you and me. I understand. I'm happy we're all together again too. 
I don't think you understand anything. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Uh oh. Your Majesty, you should rest. I must insist that you return to your room at once. I'm fine. There is no need. But, sire, you are still recovering from the grievous wounds you received. I am not a normal human, Dallin. What does that mean? I am the King of Windor. Do not think to equate me with mere commoners. The king must be strong, and I must become even stronger! And I know just what to do. There is great power here in Windor. And not just here. This entire world is filled with incredible power. <laughs> the plot thickens, as a friend of mine would say. So this is Strata's port, huh? I wonder how long it'll take to reach you, Liberté. Pardon me, but are you heading to the capital? Unfortunately, the road is currently blocked by the Rockagon. The Rockagon? It's a large monster with a rock-like appearance. Still, this is odd. I'd heard that the Rockagon was an intelligent and docile creature that never troubled humans. Normally that's true, but right now it's rampaging on the high road between Sable Isole and the capital. It's a dangerous situation, so the military has closed the high road to all through traffic. Thank you for informing us. I'm impressed you know so much about the local wildlife, Captain. I spent time here before joining the Knights. The Rockagong is beloved among the citizens of Strata. So, what's the plan, Asbel? Hard to say without knowing more about the situation. For now, let's head for the town of Sable Isole. Okie dokie then. These kids were here upset. They got talks for me. They started to, to take me off. Alright. I'm gonna be more careful about how I talk to. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. What's, go what's going on with this? Not you. This guy. Why well, is one of the kids bullying me? <laughs> I can be bullied to one of the kids' terms. It's my day for the Saturdays. But you gotta hear me. I'll give you rewards and everything. Uh, let's, let's have him out. Thanks, pal. Free words, but for a human. Aren't you one? Come on, thankful. I'll tell you a secret. Any day you get prime infos like this. Welcome. <laughs> well, that's not anything. Like right now, Sable is the only is all up in arms, but damn if I know why. I'm not going to cry. I will. Welcome! Let's get some do lads and Maybe the 
Merchant Tribe. That's what it says. You mean turtles? This is the only crop best we've ever had. Here's some interested. Why don't you do a take a few? Awesome. Got some onions. How could we have service today? Quest. Give me one second. Asbel, I've been wondering. When did His Majesty's behavior begin to change? When we first saw him again, he seemed like the same Richard we knew before. But soon after that, his personality began to... change. I wonder what happened to him. The last time we saw him, back at Launt, I could barely recognize him. Hmm. It's possible he may never return to the man he used to be. That's not true. Sharia? Richard will come back. Everything will be like it was before. And the same goes for Hubert. I just know it. Don't worry. I'm not giving up on them. Huh. <laughs> Alright. It's title time. All that. Okie dokie. So now we can switch titles on Asbel and then go to the Sword of the King title. So if he's almost through with that one. Name. And, and then we're gonna go to. to wait. Uh, you know what? Dish one. Okay. We're here at the shops. Not you. I'm trying to talk to people in the shops. Are you a person or a liar? Uh, I have never something that can tell. Okay. You know, I find it funny that Malik uses clone to boost his attack. <laughs> That's like the greatest thing. group, Pascal. Well, we can try it out. Everyone give it a lick. I can't wait to see who's a big fat liar! <sighs> I'm up. Very mm. well. Mm. Mm. If I must... Mm. Mm. Huh? Whoa, so salty and gross! <laughs> what about you, Asbel? Oh, yeah, salty. I had too much. Blech. Everyone could taste it? It's salty, isn't it, Sharia? Uh, wow, it is so salty. Sharia, 
you're acting a little odd. Huh? What? No, I'm not. I'm fine. Let's talk about Captain Malik instead. Are you okay? You need to watch your blood pressure. Hey. <laughs> I never saw this kid before. Oh my god. The military is closing roads off because of one Rockagong monster. I don't know anything about it, but is it really that dangerous? It's no mere monster. It wouldn't be a fair fight for us humans. Do you have any idea why, Captain Malik? It's just something I've heard. I suspect we'll understand as soon as we lay eyes on it. Exciting! Can we catch it? Than a Pokemon. Show us some Sable Lizoli. Surety for monsters on the way. Oh, trust me. I think I'm definitely ready. I've tasted the salt of the stone of truth. Let's do this! I think I'm totally ready for anything that's coming my way. So wait a minute, I just had a thought. So if everyone said it was salty except Sherry, does that mean that she's a liar? Women like to lie. Not bad, don't you think? Someone will do anyway. Well, now that we've done that, now it's time to switch titles again. God. Okay, let's do this. Okay, Okay, are you all right, Sharia? Can you stand? If only Asbel could be this kind. <laughs> what are you celebrating victory in the background? All victories must be celebrated. Asbel know this. Aim, and I'm gonna go that way just yet. I'm paid to find some rundown ruins and old wicked scholars who camp out in them all day. And not yet. I think I'm gonna have to go there at some point, but I'm not going there just yet. Let's do this. I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. Rip to pieces. This is the sword that will reclaim the kingdom. As Bill, the king of cheesy lines. <laughs> and Sharia, the queen of sweet salt. Supposedly. Yes! We're now rich. Remember your training. I'll run you through. I think that's all of them. Okay, let's do this. I'll 
Asbel, why do you wear such white clothes? Oh, these? Well, let me think. Oh, I know. It you are late. <laughs> He wasn't that late. Only a day. Scholars and Sabu is only are all in a panic right now. Why is that? I think we're seven miles around. I'm trying to miss the babbling of you, Berte's fountains. What's wrong? Why are you sighing like that? My throat is so dry. I'm gonna keel over from this crazy heat. Aren't you all worried and stuff, Captain? Perhaps we should seek aid from this cactus. Cactus? The ability to store water has made the Strata Cactus a vital resource for the people here. You just cut into it, like this, and there you go. Clean, fresh water. You're amazing, Captain. Want some? Oh, please. I'm so thirsty. I owe you, Captain. How was it? Tasty? Warm and gross. It tastes green. Yeah. <laughs> oh, children. You again? No. Listen, so you're not interested. Again? I should have thought we've met before. Your government types are all the same. I feel like you're friendly, but you really, what you really want is my book of rare creatures. Why is the government interested in the book? Ha! Huh. Because it contains every detailed information on every single character in the world? Or creature? For serious? What kind of creatures are featured in it? Ho ho! I see how it is! Yeah, you're interested in producing my research, are you? Not really, no. You bet! Well, if he is. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> research is this weird? Who covers more than the Star creatures you know? I've traveled the world. For instance, creature number one, this great bush baby, a creature that resides deep within the forest. <laughs> creature 51, code name, Quickie. It's sometimes been known to do people's work for them. That'd be a huge help with my music chanting and art. <laughs> you seem familiar with these creatures already. Huh? No, not me. I'm trying whatever comes to my head. Well, I guess that's okay. But anyway, I saved the best for last. Attention me. Oh, attend me. Okay. Attend me and be amazed. For creature 99. Name... Unknown. Yay. I, I'm so excited. There's a new mysterious creature that just discovered a wind door. What kind of creature is it? Say it's a bip bip bipedal human-like creature that was swimming from one end of Lake Grove to the other? It's not a long way to swim. I don't know. It doesn't sound like a specific, especially rare creature. How about you, little lady? Any brain comments you like, that you'd like to share? Eh, so much. I mean, he's just swimming, yeah? Ho oh, ho! That's where you're wrong, wrong, wrong! For you, this creature has the ability to vanish at will. Really? The poor says it was seen roaming around thick grass for a moment, and then poof! It was gone. I left behind with a small, strange object resembling an altar. It's my hypothesis that this creature is unless a member of legendary Amarcians. The Amarcians? Indeed, the one and only. Wait, what's Pascal doing? <laughs> Actually, this has that kind of sounds like me. Wait, what? Ridiculous, absurd. I have punches at every single <laughs> conceivable level. But um, Pascal, oh, I see you swam across Lake Crail. Sure did. I lost splish splash splash before heading into the underground ruins. In fact, I first met you and Sophie, I just come out from the other side. 
And then I touched her! <laughs> oh, that disappearing thing just happens when you use a device to enter the ruins. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's holy! Those things right here in front of me! I sit here running my mouth like an idiot! That's the part you're upset about? Here, take the book. Art deserves to have it. Really? Wow, thanks! Hey, did you hear? Mr. Creatures uh, reportedly untying turtle transport lines by itself! Oh, that's terrible. Well, that, that means you can single handedly destroy the rear of the entire turtle transport industry. We're gonna investigate it once. We need your keen mind and cat light, ref cat light reflexes. I'm on my way. Are you sure it's not just someone playing pranks? Who knows, my friend? Who knows? <laughs> All right! All right, we've done that. <laughs> We're ready for battle. So cute. We're ready for battle. this fight. Um, I may go ahead and end it here. Not much happened, but uh, sometimes we're going to have these, these kind of episodes where um, especially we're traveling to uh, new areas. So basically, the game is trying to get us ready for um, the battles that are ahead, you know, leveling up and all that crap. It will take more than that to stand in our way. So... Duke title.
So we're actually going to end it here, guys. Like I said, nothing much happened. The, the skits were pretty funny. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, they were. <laughs> but um, I'm going to end it here, and next time we will go to the Sable place. Yes. <laughs> so until then, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs>